Hey y'all, um, Natural Progressive here, and I'm going to do a small episode of political horsemanship. Um, so I'm going to talk about the abused horse. Um, I kind of like to do political horsemanship here outside in the ranch where I have the kitties cuddled up under the heater and the geese just pruning themselves and being geese, um, watching the horses munch. It's muddy and yucky out here. I hate it, but yeah, there's the, the ponies all munching. As you can see, it's kind of wintry and yucky and gray, but I want to talk about the abused horse and how that relates to politics. Or you could relate it to any abused animal, um, cats, dogs, whatever. And the way I relate that to the political situation is any Bernie supporter is kind of an abused horse. We put everything we had into trying to figure out how to get Bernie elected and and we were abused. We were, we were misled. We had poor direction um, from the DNC and all that. They were, they were trying to get us put in a direction, but they didn't know how to communicate with us. They didn't know what our needs were, and instead, they opted to, to abuse us and use us and we were used to the point that we're gun shy we're spooky we're not trusting anymore that's what an abused horse is they're they they were misled they they didn't have good direction they didn't have good training um when they tried to do the right thing they they received the wrong cue the wrong response and that's where we're at right now anyone who fought really hard to get bernie elected feels abused we're abused that's the plain and simple truth and until we can regain trust in the system we are going to be looking elsewhere. We're going to be spooky. We're going to be not trusting of the, the leaders, the so-called leaders, the representatives. They, they led us in the wrong direction. They, they misused our trust and we're not going to put up with it anymore. Just like an abused horse, abused horse will turn violent because they don't understand. They, they, they feel like they can't win. They're in a, a fight or flight scenario. And that is to the point we're at right now. We're at the fight or flight. So we're definitely fleeing the Democratic Party because we don't have any trust. And we're going to fight. We're definitely going to fight if we don't get what we need from the Democratic Party. I, I, we're at a turning point. So either the Democratic Party can turn left and 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 regain our trust but that's going to be really hard to do super hard to do so i am hoping that we can get per, push push the people there in the dnc to to go our direction and quit being abusive to us i know it's a big if and we're going to do everything we can to to try and find a way without without fighting but we're probably going to end up fighting and that's the way it is that's that's what happens um in horsemanship if a horse can't figure out what you're asking them they will fight or they'll fight but right now we're at the flight stage you can put us into the fight stage real quick by not listening to us so let's try to get the so-called leaders, the so-called representatives 
to understand where we come from. Anyway, this is another episode of Political Horsemanship from the ranch. It's a mess right now. It's muddy, yucky, disgusting, but, you know, summer, spring, it's right around the corner. Days are getting longer. Hopefully there'll be leaves on those trees soon. Looks pretty damn yucky right now. And that's the way it is with the political scenario. Looks pretty yucky. But hoping for change soon. Hoping to see those leaves grow and to see the sun. That's what we need. That's what we want. Have a good day. We'll talk to you soon.